Good afternoon and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm bringing you another Sephora video but slightly different. It is my five ways that I, five unusual ways that I use Sephora. I have another Sephora video that was my very first video and that is just a general hints and tips but this one is just a little bit more in depth in five ways that I can use it that aren't the standard ways that people would think to use it. So I thought I would help all you newbies out because Sephora is becoming a bit of a craze at the moment and I wanted you to end up loving it just as much as I do. And if you are new to our channel and enjoy videos like this then hit that subscribe button just down there and the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. We also have an Instagram account so if you want to follow that one I will also link that down below. And also, if you notice I'm wearing something different than in the main bit of the video, which you'll watch in a second, that is because somehow I managed to lose this bit of the footage. Don't ask me how or why, because I don't know. So I just thought I would quickly record this and then we can get straight on into the video. So here you go. So once I have stripped the bed and it is in a rumple pile like this, I grab my Sephora bottle and I will give them all a light spray and then I flip things over like the pillows I will do the same with the duvet give them all a light spray and I'll move it around and stuff and then and then once it is dry I will then make the bed with the sheets and stuff and I tend to have like a rotation of sheets so by the time I've got to the one that I'm putting on, it's probably been in the bedding basket for, I don't know, a month, because I've got about four sheets, that's about right. Um, I will then just give that a you know, like dusting over it as well. Um, probably because I'm a Sephora addict and I love the smell of them all. <laughs> so I love going to, spell, to sleep when I can smell them. And also, it's a great tip if you have the lavender one to spray the beds, the kids beds about 10-15 minutes before bedtime so their room is filled with lavender and relaxing scents and I really find it helps with sending Alfie off to sleep so on to the next tip so my next tip is this behind me it is cleaning glass with Sephora now in my spray bowls I do mix some of them up with flash but this isn't, this is just neat Sephora and water and I found it leaves streak free mirror. So let's just have a look at the mirror before. Let's see if I can get these to pick up on camera. But you can see all the, or I'm trying to get you to see all the smudges that are all over there. Fingerprints, I can't get them up on camera. Ah! <laughs> It's just not picking them up, but you can definitely see these kind of fingerprints in this bottom hand corner of the mirror and these dusty yucky marks. So yes, let's get going. I'm going to clean it because I can't do it one handed, so I'm going to clean it with the same spray bottle that I've just done the bed in. We'll give it a spray, maybe I can do it one handed. Then I have just some kitchen roll. And I'll give it all a good scrub down. And then once I have given it a clean, I've like given it a clean with thing, but I'll go over it all with a dry one and just give it like a buff. And if there is any little more stubborn marks, give them a bit more scrubbing. But I have not bought glass cleaner in so so long I do my doors not my I have a, a glass door that's got like a big glass bit at the top in the kitchen I do my high glass kitchen cabinets I do the um, shower screen in it but let's see so as you can see in this bottom corner there is no marks left they have all, all disappeared. And it's so, so quick and so, so easy. I used to hate, hate, hate cleaning glass with a passion. And now you have no marks. So that one is definitely a thumbs up from me. 
can't be a clean glass with no fingerprints. So, so my next, next one, as you can see, is a washing tip. Now, once I've got my powder, or you've got your, like, what are they called? Balls, the thing, washing pod things that you put in the machine, and conditioner in there. I tend to stick with the Linen Fresh one, but I suppose you could add any. I then, let's take the lid off. I then add a little bit into the drawer, about a cap full, shut the door, turn the machine on, off it goes and when it comes out it smells incredible and I find that it really 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 lasts on your fabrics. I also find that it is brilliant for if you have teenage boys. It's good for anything in the washing machine but teenage boys when they kind of hit puberty kind of mark, PE kits, bedding, stuff like that, school uniforms, you can, or even men that do rugby or football or any kind of sports, sometimes getting their clothes smelling like normals do clothes do when they first come out of the washing machine is quite hard. If we have something that's particularly smelly, like say socks and school jumpers and stuff like that because of in the heat, things like that can get really smelly, that what I do is I will do a pre-rinse, so I will do a rinse and spin and on that occasion I will just put Sephora straight into the straight, oh sorry, straight into this bit and do a rinse and spin and then I'll do this so I will still add it to Sephora twice but only two catfuls, it's not a lot on a massive load of what, mine's quite a big machine inside so, and I find that it comes out smelling amazing. So yeah, no more stinky boy clothes. <laughs> so that's number tip number three. And what have we got next? I've got so a tip list. number four is to do with your hoover. And sometimes we all know that, especially if you've got dogs, cats, pets, that kind of thing, the hoover when you turn it on, because if it kind of heats up and stuff, can be quite smelly or not, not smelly smelly but not a pleasant fragrance. So I tend to grab either, I try and get cotton balls but I haven't gotten it at the moment so cotton pads will do exactly the same and what I will do is I will soak the cotton pads in a little bit of Sephora. So I will just try and do that. So yeah, I will just give it a bit of a shake and then squish it around the pad so that like it's not all concentrated in one area. And I will then pop this into, let's flip you around. This is, so I will then pop it into here, into the bit where like the rubbish collects in my hoover. Shut the lid. and pop it, oh I'm not very good at this am I? <laughs> pop it back onto here like that, how easy is that one handed? And every time you turn the hoover on then you will get a good waft of what is ever fragrant Sephora, so I've picked the pink grapefruit for this one. So yeah, every time you hoover you'll get a waft of pink so grapefruit. So my next tip involves a piece of kitchen roll, the Sephora spray bottle and a radiator. <laughs> I will saturate it in Sephora, diluted Sephora, and I will pop it behind the radiator just like this. So as you can see it's quite wet with Sephora, that's why I put the excess and what I will do normally in the winter is I will just tuck it, this one is actually a bit of a weird radiator but normally it would just sit just down there in a thinner gapped radiator, 
or you can just literally, and sometimes I even do it and unfold it and just put it on the top if you can't get to sit down the bottom so nobody can see it. And that way, and that way, when the heating's on, the heat will make the sephora scent into the room like an air freshener. Now there is many, many other ways to use sephora. These are just my five top, more unusual things I like to do with sephora. So I have got another video. It was my very first video. I've had somebody comment saying I sound boring in it, but if you, I will link it down below just in case you want to check it out and learn some other tips and hints about Sephora. So yeah, Sephora is definitely one of my favourite things. Also, it's in my June's favourite video, so if you want to check that out, I will also link that down below. And yeah, if you like these kind of videos and you want to come and join our little YouTube family, then hit that subscribe button down below and come back soon.